let's get back to the passing game because they worked on some things. And so one of the plays in particular, though, that I want you to talk about, Al, and I want you to talk about the the lead up to this decision. It was the seam route to Eric All. Mm-hmm. And I noted in the booth, they're in quarters. And then pre-snap, they rotate it. Looks like they rotated into a cover three. And he saw it. Now, what I want to know from you, Al, as you talk us through this, is that something anticipated? You as Al Boyd say, this is what they typically do. Mm-hmm. Or is this a matter of him just reading on the fly? recognition on the fly okay smash verticals versus one high you got 12 personnel on the field which is two tight ends one back and two wide receivers this is basically a running group okay now this could be calculated they may know i know we would always study what coverages are we getting to which groups and they may know that for the most part they may be a 70 80 percent one high team anytime you put 12 personnel on the field so vertical routes might be in order in this group The ball's in the middle of the field. The tight ends are going to run vertical routes. Both the outside receivers are going to run stop smashes, okay? Mm -hmm. The vertical routes are run two yards outside the hash. So with the ball in the middle of the field, the tight ends don't have very far to go. You don't need a receiver to be spaced out there, if that makes any sense, okay? The two safeties are the guys that the the quarterback's going to have to be aware of where they are because he knows if he's going to be able to hit those verticals, one of those safeties are probably going to run to the middle and the other one's going to rotate up. If they both stay in quarters, look, they're probably going to carry those verticals and the ball's going to go outside of the smash or get checked down. You can see both. I put ones on both those verticals because either guy could get the ball. Okay. I put a two on the smash route because if they carry the verticals, that ball's going out to that smash. If he doesn't like any of that, that that bat's going to leak through the line of scrimmage and you're going to get a little check down effect. Okay. So, That's what he's thinking. I got to figure out what those safeties, where they are initially, and what are they going to do in the ball snap? Because that's what really counts. Real real quick, I want you to explain something. You you were very, very particular about this this route going a couple of yards outside Outside the hash. hash. Why did you have me push it like that? That way, they know they can stretch that safety. Because if they get too tight, the safety can play both of them just by reading the quarterback's eyes, you know, but if they're wide enough and create space between each other, then the safety has further to go. It's that simple. So now let's say, let's say they stayed in quarters and, and these, these seam routes are are driving. That's, that's not a a weakness. That's not where you're going with the football. Probably. Right. Probably not. If they stay in a quarter, if they stay in a too high shell. Right. What we would do. And I thought probably sure either one of their receivers does this is if the safety split, whether it's a two deep or a quarter step, we would actually bend the routes under the safety. Sometimes you get a wide safety. You can still hit it, but you're more likely in that coverage to start looking outside to throw a smash or check the ball down. But now you see something happen at the snap of the ball. Right. Okay. Now, now he's got to read that safety rotation, see if he can get a, a tip. Somebody starts cheating and, and moving quickly. But once a ball snap, he has to locate the middle safety, whichever it is. In this instance, because the top safety is higher, he is more likely to rotate to the middle if, in fact, it is a one eye. And you can see there's your look. Okay. Now, eyes straight to the safety. Okay. And make sure you do nothing to pull him into that vertical. Keep your eyes right on him, straight your hat right down the middle. See that? See that the, 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 that helmet? And you can see the wings are straight down the field, looking right at that safety. And then, bam, shoot that ball, little two throw, or almost a little one throw, where it's, it's almost flat, where you're going to get it to him so he so that safety can't rally and either, either hit him or distort the throw enough to where he doesn't want to catch it. But you can see that's boss thrown, thrown pretty much on time. The trajectory is right. But the thing I like the most about it is that right there, that right there, the end zone shot shows you that his wings, those wings on those Michigan helmets. I loved it. Cause I could always see where the quarterback was looking. Those wings are right on that safety. And that safety does not know until the last beat where that ball's going. 